What up, what up, y'all? Tim Z here, back at it again, like you can always expect. You know what I mean? And today, I'm going to be removing some anodization on a giant mouse Nazca. So, I purchased this NAF, only paid like 180 or something, and everything's great on it, except they, the, the previous owner told me, you know, that he tried to anode it and it got a little yellow tint here, just some purple down here and everything. And I'm like, all right, the price was great, right? So it's time to remove the anode. We got Wink Rust Stain Remover. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so there's a child-proof cap and as you can see, there's no seal. It's open already. You guys gonna wanna, oh shit, I almost dropped that bottle. You guys gonna wanna be uh, careful with this shit because this shit is not good for you, all right? Like, don't get it on your hands. You know what I mean? Don't get this shit on your hands, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do, or you need to do, because I'm already doing this shit, is you're going to want to find something that fits in your container. All right. As you can see, both of these things fit in the container flat. So we're good. And, and you're going to see how much we have to fill it. So you only need to cover the scales. So we're not going to need that much. Wink is not expensive. So you don't got to worry about that too much. So let's put this down here and pour some in. There's a lot of different sizes for this um, liquid, but this one is the um, 16 ounce, roughly $14 or $13, all right? I don't really have any other use for this too much, so. I'm gonna fill it up enough for the scales. That's almost enough. That's enough. All right, that's enough. I'll save some. Still got most of the bottle. Just in case I need to remove some bad anno jobs again in the future. So both scales have a tint on it. Let's test it out on this one first. This one's not as bad, but you can still see the tin. Let's dip it. It's bubbling, all right? Once it's bubbling, you take it out. Yes, sir. All right, so we're gonna do this. You can see. That one is bubbling. I am going to pull it. This one's bubbling. I'm going to pull it. All right, so we're gonna put that aside. It stinks right now. All right, so I'm gonna turn on the sink a little bit. Maybe lighter than this. And start rinsing it off. All right. Rinsing it off. It smells here, right? Yo, this shit stinks. Okay? Be careful not to turn on your sink too high. Don't want to splash it around. Alright? Let's take a look what we got here. Take a look after I know I'm completely rinsed off here. Don't want any of that stuff left behind, all right? You don't want it to eat away your titanium or whatever you are removing ammo from, okay? Like aluminum, I don't know if this will work on aluminum. I think it will. It works on pretty much any surface, I believe. The metal that has rust or whatever on the top layer and it just burns it off. It completely like just melts it off, all right? So, let me turn this off. Now, 
Yeah, all right, it's looking pretty good. I'm not dumping it back in there, all right? We're not gonna overdo this. It's back to gray and uh, the giant mouse logo is still there. It didn't burn that off, okay? It's hard to tell if it still has a tint because I got lights here and they're not perfectly white lights, you know. They're, they have a warm temperature to it a little bit. All right, so let's rinse this a little more. I already, rinsed, um, I already got most of this shit off, you know what I mean? Get it off. thing off. All right, let's take the gloves off, okay, because these gloves touch the acid. Now, throw it in the garbage and we'll rinse it once more. Okay. And now we're going to have to dry these things, okay? One second. Going to have to dry these off. Wiping these down. Oh yeah, that's definitely much better. It's like gray now, okay? Instead of that shiny stuff. I can't really tell if I'm happy with this one yet. I, I really can't. I want to dip it again though, you know? Let me just judge it by right here. I'm gonna dry it off better. Seems to got that one spot that's a little bit, you know, discolored. But that's really nitpicking for a freaking user knife, you know what I mean? It, it really don't matter. Okay. This is the other one. This, this scale loves the whole freaking water. It's not perfectly smooth, you know, it got some texture. So, should I just leave it? Looks pretty good actually, but since I'm a complete gambler here, we're gonna dip it one more time in this acid. The, the tip only, just the tip. All right, that's enough. I'm done with that shit. It looks like, okay, this is fucked up actually. We're gonna have to re-dip the whole thing. All right. Let's see. We're gonna have to re-dip that whole thing because there's no, um, it gotta blend in, you know? If you only dip one side, the finish is gonna be completely different from one side to the other. So we're gonna dip it one more time for the whole scale. All right. The 
whole scale is gonna get dipped one more time. I know I made this more difficult than it has to be. My glove can't even go back on because my hands are wet. But we're throwing that in. And we're gonna do both again. Yeah, that's all we're doing now. As you can see, that solution is getting really uh, nasty because it's removed so much. Okay, so this is really good stuff. Know what I mean? Because look, we dipped it like twice, right? And in reality, you could, you know, anno this thing multiple times and just keep removing it. That's some good stuff, good stuff. All right. Now, let's uh, dry the scale off as best as we can. As you know, this scale is really hard to dry off. So, let me dry this thing off a little bit and I'll show you the colors. I mean, the lack of color. I mean, we don't want any colors on this scale. And I know you guys are gonna say like, oh, why you take so long and shit? But if you watch until this point, I appreciate you, you know what I mean? Right, you know, so, you know, I do all my stuff, no takes. Everyone else doing takes, erasing, editing. I don't got time for that shit. So, as you can see, this scale is gray. Especially with the light over it, it makes it a little distorted. This is gray, much better than before. There's no um, purple there anymore. And this one, also no purple here. It's nice. Uh, let's see. The texture is still on the scale that it had, which is good. So, can't complain. If you want to see the, pic the pictures um, afterwards and videos and stuff, and they're going to be on Instagram, all right, at TimZUSA. And until next time, all right, give me a thumbs up first, though. This, this was a complete, just random video I didn't plan on doing. Thank you for watching. And until next time, Tim Z out.